Hey guys, this is Jeremy with Hartfield Automation. Today I wanted to demo using Cole Morgan's AKD basic drive uh, in servo motor with some, some dedicated inputs. Um, and just really kind of introduce you to the programming environment and to, uh, in, to the AKD basic drive period. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your Cole Morgan workbench and we're going to need to connect to the drive. So we'll just plug our Ethernet cable into the access port. And let's go ahead and add new Cole Morgan device. It will go out and find our drive for us. And the one thing I will mention is, is make sure you're on the proper network uh, when connecting to the drive. The default is 192.168.0.10. If you need to go into your uh, control panel network, um, you're going to go to your LAN network, properties, and then the IPv4, go into properties here and you can configure the IP address to connect. If you find that you're having trouble uh, auto connecting very well that you need to uh, update your IP address here. So let's back out of here. We're connected to the drive. Let's see, I've actually got, I've already named the drive AKD demo. Uh, and some of the things that you're looking at here is this is what is flashing on the, the front screen. So if you see the O2 where my finger is, um, and then here you can see it on the screen as well. Also, you can see that it pulls my motor information name and all the parameters that are set with that motor. <clears throat> That's kind of important. When you go into programming, because when you create a new program, you can see here that you have three options. You can choose just a basic program or the basic using current drive parameters. So if you um, start most of your programs, I would go ahead and recommend using current drive parameters because it's going to pull in all the motor parameters and you don't really have to go and configure those yourself. So that's kind of nice. Um, I have a couple programs already written that I wanted to go through. Um, let's do a homing routine based on an input here. I'm going to open that program. I'm also going to open a homing based on a mechanical zero. And let's see. Um, how about demo govel? Okay. So the first thing we need to do is uh, compile. Our programs and then uh, download them to our drive. And once they are downloaded, we can start playing around here. You can see that um, we're going to make a couple clockwise moves and counterclockwise moves, all dependent on my input 7 going low or high. Um, I've got all my motor parameters in here. This is my main program. So let's go ahead and see this thing work. Nope. Oh. Don't forget to enable your drive, which I have a switch that I need to reset here. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this program. Okay, now you can see my, my motor is spinning trying to find home, but it's waiting on my input 7. And when it finds input 7, it's going to change direction. And then it's going to wait for the signal to drop down again, and it's going to latch. So that's just a pretty simple homing routine based on an input, but you can also see we have homing based on a mechanical zero position. Um, 
So it's really just looking for the feedback of the motor. And it zeroes out based on its zero feedback on the motor. Okay, let's go into our demo Govel. <clears throat> and this is a program to show how to use interrupts. So here you can see I have my first digital input set up to interrupt. Um, that's just going to start the velocity move. My digital input 2 here is going to adjust my run speed. So you can see move.run speed equals move.run speed plus 100. Every time that input goes active, I'm going to add 100 to my velocity. Um, pretty much the opposite here for my digital input 3. Move that run speed equals move that run speed minus 100. Um, and then my digital input 4 is going to change direction. So let's go ahead and see that, that work. If I flip along, I go live. And now you can see my motor's running. Let's go ahead and increase my speed. I don't know if you're really catching that on the motor. You can probably hear it more than anything. And then we need to slow it down. So we'll trip three. And we're gonna slow enough that you can see it. And then now if we want to change direction, we trip four. So, simple way to make show you how interrupts work using digital inputs. And you can see now here it is printing out my change in speed and, uh, and change in direction. So, anyway, <clears throat> quick little tutorial using the AKD Basic Drive. It's a pretty powerful drive. Um, Especially if you don't want to get into uh, having to program some motion in your PLC, you could easily do it in the drive here and, um, and really rock things out. So if you got any questions, um, please feel free to email me at jeremy.howard at heartfield.com and I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks so much.